Hello everyone, I am Sujoy and this is my another networking tutorial. So today I will tell you how to document a network topology using CTP and other commands. Network topology is the diagram of the all the devices in a particular network or in a particular sub-network. This basically gives you a pictorial overview of all the devices in that particular network. So after getting a job as a network administrator in any company, the first thing you need to do is to document the network topology. This will later help you to locate any device in a network and all this will make the troubleshooting job a lot easier for you because you already know which device is located where in the network and to which other devices this particular device is connected so that you can easily troubleshoot and you can easily locate the problematic device in the network. So isn't it cool? Let's start. So for this operation, first you need to do, you need to log in to any of the router in your network. If you are physically close to any router, simply connect the console cable to this router and you can do this operation. But if the router is remote to you, then you have to log into the router using telnet or SSH. So here I will use the telnet for that. But how to know which router I, I need to telnet to? To get that, first open, go to your PC and go to the command prompt. If you don't know how to go to command prompt of a Windows PC, then I am telling you press the Windows plus R button on your computer and type CMD and press enter. This will bring the Windows command prompt and from here you have to give the command which I will tell you. So here in packet tracer the command is same. The command is IP config and press enter. This will give you the IP address of the device the PC or laptop you are working on and the default gateway. Default gateway is the IP address of the router which is connected which is basically delivering the service to this PC. So I need to telnet to this default gateway IP address. So for that I will use telnet space the IP address 192.168.1.33 and press enter. So here I can you can see it's asking for username that means I have connected to the right device so I know the username is Cisco similarly the password is also Cisco so after giving the username password you can see I have presented to the coal hyphen RTR greater than that means I have logged into the Kolkata router to get into privilege mode type enable or en for short and press enter it will ask you for the enable password and after giving that, you are presented with the cold RTR hash prompt. From here, we can do privilege mode operations. So first of all, first you need to check how many interfaces are there, physical interfaces on this router and how many device interfaces are actually being used. For that, issue the command show IP int brief or show IP interfaces brief for short. So here I, you can see four physical interfaces are there. First is an at 0 slash 1 with the IP 192.168.1.33 which is the IP I have connected to via telnet. Status is up and protocol is up. That means the interface is up and running. Next interface on this router is first is an at 0 slash 1 with the IP 192.168.1.1 which is also up and running. Third interface is a serial interface which is 192.168.1.73 which is also up and running. If you don't know, first Ethernet interfaces are used for connecting LAN devices such as switches and PCs laptop with the router and the serial interfaces are used for remote connection or connected to remote devices with any particular router. And there is also another serial interface which is right now unused and which is administratively down. So as of now we know three physical interfaces are being connected on this router 
and we know the IP addresses of them. Next, I need to know what are the devices connected on these three interfaces. For that, first I will issue the command show CDP and press enter. So this command will give you output only if the CDP is running on this router. So here the CDP is running and it is sending CDP packets every 60 seconds. That means every one minute this router is sending CDP packet. That, that means I am alive. The next output is sending a whole time value of 180 seconds. That means every three minutes the older CDP table is being replaced with a new CDP table. That means if after three minutes we are not getting any CDP packet from any Cisco device, we can conclude that device is either not responding or is dead. Third, third line is sending CDP V2 advertisement is enabled. That means this router is using CDP version 2. And if you don't know, CDP stands for Cisco Discovery Protocol. It is a Cisco proprietary protocol which is, which is by default enabled and running on all Cisco devices. And this protocol basically sends CDP packets to all other Cisco devices so that every Cisco device can recognize each other on a internet work. So now to check how many Cisco devices are connected to this router, issue the command show CDP neighbor press enter. This will give you three Cisco devices are connected with this router. So let's interpret the command. First column is device ID, which will give you the host name of all the Cisco devices connected to this router. So we can see three Cisco devices are there. First one is Col Switch 2 or Kolkata Switch 2. Next is Kolkata Switch 1 and third is Hyderabad router. Next column is local interface. That means the Col Switch 2 is connected to the fast Ethernet user Central 1 port of this router. That means the Cisco Switch 2 is connected to this interface. That means the Kolkata Switch 2 is in 192.168.1.0 network. Similarly, Kolkata Switch 1 is connected to the fast Ethernet 0 slash 0 port and it is in 192.168.1.32 network. Third column is hold time. That means after 173 seconds, this CDP table or this device will refresh with the new CDP information. Next is capability. Here S stands for switch. That means this device is a switch with the host name Cold Switch 2. Next is platform. So here 2950. That means this device is a 2950 switch. Next column is port ID. It is fast Ethernet 0 slash 1. That means the fast Ethernet 0 slash 1 port of the Cold Switch 2 is connected to the fast Ethernet 0 slash 1 port of the Cold Router. Local interface is the interface on your router you are logged into and port ID is the interface on the remote device, right? So till now we know there are three devices connected to this Kolkata router. Let's document it. So here is the network diagram we know. We have a router, Kolkata router, which has three interfaces. One is fast Ethernet 0 slash 1, one is fast Ethernet 0 slash 0, and one is serial 0 slash 1 slash 0, which is connected to the Hyderabad router. And the IP address on this 0 slash 1 is 192.168.1.1. And the IP address on this faster than a 0 slash 0 is 192.168.1.32. And the IP address on this serial 0 slash 1 slash 0 is 192.168.1.73. Let's verify them again. On 0 slash 0 interface, 
the IP is 182.168.1.33 on 0 slash 1 it is 1.1 and on serial 0 slash 1 slash 0 is 1.73 so now we know the Hyderabad router is a router that means there are several network connected to that router so we need that information also how to get that for that again we have to tell it to this Hyderabad router for that we have to get the IP address of the router how to get that show CDP neighbor details and press enter so this will give you much more information than the CDP neighbor command so here let's check them so the device Kolkata switch 2 is a switch which is connected to the faster than 0 slash 1 port of the Kolkata router with the 0 slash 1 port on the remote router CDP hold time is 163 and the Kolkata switch 2 is running Cisco 2950 i6 LQ2 iOS software with the version 12.122 EA4 and also it's running CDP version 2 and the duplex is full next Kolkata switch 1 which is also a 2950 which is also switch which is connected to the faster than a 0 slash 0 port of the present router old time 163 which is also running CDP version 2 and duplex is full now the interesting part the third device is Hyderabad router this is the host name and the IP address of the Hyderabad router is 192.168.1.74 and this is connected to 0 slash 1 slash 0 on the present router that is Kolkata router and on the other side on the Hyderabad router this is connected to 0 slash 0 slash 0 hold time in 169 CDP version 2 duplex full and now since we have the IP address of the Hyderabad router we can also tell it to that device from Kolkata router let's do it sorry I did a typing mistake so the command is telnet space IP address you want to telnet to so here I have given the command 192.168.1.74 which is the IP address of the Hyderabad router so again I need to enter the username and password of the Hyderabad router so after giving the uh, username and password I have presented with the Hyderabad router prompt now type enable and, and enter the enable password so here I am presented with the Hyderabad has prompt so we, I am right now on the Hyderabad router again issue the command show IP int brief so again here three, three interfaces are there which are being used on fast Ethernet 0 slash 0 the IP is 192.168.1.49 on 0 slash 1 the IP is 192.168.1.66 and on serial 0 slash 0 slash 0 the IP is 192.168.1.74 now show CDP neighbor again three Cisco devices are running one is Hyderabad switch 2 which is connected to the faster than a 0 slash 1 that means the Hyderabad switch 2 is in 192.168.1.64 network and Hyderabad switch 1 is connected to faster than a 0 slash 0 and is in the network 192.168.1.48 and third device is Kolkata router which is connected to the faster than serial 0 slash 0 slash 0 of the Hyderabad router this information we already know we have got the other information also so here is our complete network topology we have two routers 
one is kolkata router another is hyderabad router and on kolkata router two switches are there one is connected to 192.168.1.0 network which is on the fast ethernet 0 slash 1 and on the second fast ethernet port which is fast ethernet 0 slash 0 port there is another switch which is kolkata switch 1 and there is a serial link with the ip 182.168.1.73 on the kolkata end and 182.168.1.74 on the hyderabad end similarly on the hyderabad side there are two switches one is hyderabad switch 2 which is connected to fast ethernet 0 slash 1 and one is hyderabad switch 1 which is connected to fast ethernet 0 slash 0 and this is on the network 192.168.1.48 so isn't it cool now let me tell you some more information first one is that so ip interface brief gives you all the physical interfaces and the logical interfaces on the router second it gives you all the devices both cisco devices and non cisco devices connected to this router that means let's say if you are getting four interfaces on the router let's say this interface is also running with an ip address okay but on the ctp command output you are seeing only three devices but this device is not locating that means you can assume that either this device is not a cisco device is not a cisco device or the cisco discovery protocol or cdp is disabled on this device but there is a way i will tell you later next is so cdp this will give you if the cdp is running this will give you some output but if cdp is not running it will give you an error that cdp is not running next so cdp neighbor it will give you on the cdp neighbor device devices and next is so cdp neighbor details it will give you all the details like ios version running device model device capability device ip address device uh, ios details and hold time and cdp version of the all remote cisco devices connected to this device right and next command is so cdp entry asterisk i will show you the output basically this command and so cdp never details command are almost similar commands they give almost similar output let me show you show cdp entry and asterisk as you can see this output is almost identical to the so cdp never details command next is to enable and disable cdp on a router so to enable or disable cdp you need to go to the config mode of the router for that from the router hash prompt type the command config space t or conf space t in short you can see it's now router config edge and issue the command cdp run to enable the cdp similarly similarly to disable the cdp give the command no cdp run on some routers you may need to give, give the command cdp enable and no cdp enable to activate and deactivate cdp accordingly so cdp neighbor gives you all the cisco devices in the network if they are running the cdp but so ip interface beep gives you all the devices connected to this router both cisco and non cisco devices such as juniper devices avaya not all devices next if all the devices are cisco you can simply get their information by using the command so cdp neighbor or so cdp neighbor details but if they are not cisco devices then just by knowing their ip address you can simply give the command telnet that ip address to log into that device and from that device you can give the command so interface details or so ip interface details to get the devices connected to them right so along with telnet 
there is another protocol for connecting to remote device that is called SSH or secure cell. SSH is the secure version of the telnet. Telnet is unsecured. So in real life from Windows command prompt you can issue the command telnet and telnet to any remote device. But if the telnet is not working you should try the SSH option. For that use any terminal emulation software such as Windows Hyper Terminal or Putty. I personally use Putty. So from Putty give the IP address you want to telnet to and choose telnet and click open for telnet or choose SSH and click open for establishing an SSH connection to that router or switch. So the summary is for Cisco devices use the CDP command which stands for Cisco Discovery Protocol and for non Cisco devices use the telnet or SSH. So that's it for now. How was the video? Let me know in the comments below. If you like the video, please like and share the video and subscribe to my YouTube channel. So thanks for watching. See you in my next video. And still then, stay connected by subscribing.